Yo, hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Yeah, welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. But today, my friends, we are going to clear up the confusion of the optimal protein intake for fastest gains. Man, I get this question a lot. And what I'm doing lately on this channel, I am going to speak directly to you and answer the questions that are inundating my mailbox all day, every day, Dolce. How many grams of protein do I need to eat, brah? Well, I'm going to break it down for you. I'm actually going to sprinkle a little bit of science in here. I'll point you in the direction of the studies that we use. But as always, we use anecdotal evidence. And what is that? That's the real world's observation and experimentation on what actually works. So what we do here, we, we say evidence-based battle tested. That's the concept that I'm sharing with you guys. So the question is, how many grams of protein should you consume for the fastest possible gains, baby? Muscle growth, get yoked, get big, get strong, get lean, because we want to get bigger muscle-wise as we get leaner, more scraped out and shredded. Now, I'm going to take this for a second, and I appreciate you being here, and if you appreciate this information, bang, bang, leave a thumbs up, drop a comment below, let me know you're there so I do know you care, and I will keep this coming, that's what she said, but when we talk about protein intake, we're going to start two different ways. First, we're going to talk about the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. This is the governing nutrition um authority here in the United States. And I use the term authority loosely because the, uh, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, they really look to set baseline standards. And when I say baseline standards, I mean minimums for general health based upon the general population. Unfortunately, oftentimes, these baseline minimums will not meet your requirements or my requirements as healthy active adults who are training, who are striving to be better, to build muscle, to drop body fat below that of the average general population. And when we look at the general population, we realize most people are what I call the Walmart zombie. Those that are just walking around, they're two steps away from falling on their face, likely to be scooped up and forever driving in a little rover like they're on the Disney movie Wally, -E, right? That's where society is heading. And that's what the American or the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, they're really speaking more towards those people. And I think they're doing good work. They're doing work in earnest most of the time. But then we have bright minds like Brad Schoenfeld and Alan Aragon, who recently put forth a study where they delved deeper into optimal protein consumption per meal. And we've all heard this before. How many grams of protein can you eat per meal? Is it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60? Is it unlimited? And I think Brad and Alan actually did a really good job, but digging through the weeds of this study um, and where is their study? Just so I can point you to it. Um, it is in the Journal of International Society of Sports Nutrition. I'll go back to that later. I'll link it below, most likely make it easier for you to use. But I'm going to give you the basic takeaways right now. How many grams of protein should you consume? That number is going to fluctuate. We're going to take the minimums of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, and then we're going to take the maximums set forth by Brad and Allen, where they're really looking for the upper level of, of total protein consumption. Now they backed into it because they were speaking on how many speaking on how many grams of protein per meal are actually usable to enhance muscle protein synthesis. It's a really good study to go through and read, but I extracted the total amounts for you guys here. Now, the A&D, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, they say approximately 0 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of total body weight. 
Okay, what does that mean? That means 180 pound person. Let's say you're 180 pounds. I weighed 180 pounds my junior year of high school, but I digress. The average American male is approximately 180 pounds, right? In the 180 pounds, that's approximately 82 kilograms. You So 180 pounds U.S. is 82 kilograms pretty much everywhere else around the world. So you're about 82 kilograms. Now, at 82 kilograms, if you consume 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram, you're actually going to be taking in approximately 66 grams of protein per day. Well, Lord knows I've taken dumps that have more than 66 grams of protein in it. Not really, because I have a very efficient digestive system. That's a funny joke. But really, 66 grams of protein, that's not a lot of protein for gym bros like you and I are really looking to get out there and drop those panties when we're walking down the street, right? We want that rippling, sinewy, granite muscle popping out all over the place at low levels of relative body fat. That's what we're striving for, and that's what I'm sharing with you right now. So the American Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, they really have that low level, that base level, eat this much so you don't die kind of standard. That's the way I'm going to bro it out and share it with you. Then we look at the meatheads, the scientific meatheads, the cerebral meatheads that are Brad and Allen. Brad and Allen come back and they say, well... We're looking more towards 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of total body mass. And when we add that, now we're looking at the 180-pound person, 82-kilogram person, male, should consume approximately 180 grams of protein. That's a big swing. That nearly triples what the Academy says at approximately 66. Brad and Allen come back up to 180. Now, 180 grams of protein per day doesn't sound like a lot of protein if you're talking to the local juice head at the gym or the local college bro standing behind the counter at the vitamin store in your general area. If you're reading all of the sports supplement information, they're saying, no way, bro, you need to take, you know, body weight times two, body weight times three. That's how many grams of protein you should consume. Now, as I'm saying this, understand that I actually do have my own protein powder that will be coming out soon. It's not out yet. It will be out soon. Now, I say this not to sell it. I say this because if I was one of these douchebag supplement marketers, I'd be saying the same thing, that you should take in three times, four times, one million times body weight in protein. No, you shouldn't. I don't need to. I'm, I put the protein out there. We're putting the protein out there to help you, not to harm you. And the protein we put out is to be taken not only by some of you who are the most serious and even then only during high training phases, not even all the time. So hopefully that at least shows the integrity behind the information that I'm sharing with you. Don't take all the protein and you probably don't even need to take supplemental protein if you're following Brad and Allen's recommendation of 180 grams, which just works out to be about one gram of protein per pound of total body weight. And I will add the caveat of relatively lean total body weight. And that would be the average male, you know, below 15% body fat. That's relatively lean. If you're above 15% body fat, well, you got to get on the cardio machine. Watch my last video here, which I will, maybe I'll pop up right there. If I don't pop it up right there, I'm actually not going to pop it up right there because this is a live stream. So it will actually be featured at the end of this video. It will be one of the recommended videos for you, um, which is the uh, video on fasted cardio is that better i talk about cardio there for you but i digress and that's with regards to fat loss now back to finish this up for you guys how many grams of protein is ideal well if you are a, a active healthy athletic adult likely you should be closer to what brad and alan are saying if you are a sedentary 
old person who's just trying not to die, well, then maybe you should be a little closer to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Me personally, I am much closer to what Alan and Brad say, though I typically eat less than one gram per pound of total body mass. On average, when I am in these A-type hard training phases, I do increase my protein intake. So I walk around typically around 210, 215 pounds. I look freaking phenomenal around 202, super shredded. I try and maintain all the lean muscle tissue as I can. I train harder. I train heavier. I train faster. I add volume. As a result of that, I do add additional protein, usually as uh, with, with a whey protein isolate to which we develop the Dolce Whey Pro, a grass-fed, cold-processed, cross-flow, micro-filtered whey protein isolate. I only say that because you can actually consume that with the lowest possible net calories outside of eating additional whole foods to which I do the vast majority of the year. I don't take any protein supplementation. I eat whole foods. And again, going back to Brad and Allen's study, they basically found in order to enhance muscle protein synthesis, we needed to eat approximately 0.4 grams of protein per meal per gram of total kilogram of total body weight up to the highest threshold of 0.55 grams of protein per kilogram of body mass. What does that mean? That means the average active, athletic, healthy adult can consume anywhere between approximately 33 and 45 grams of protein per meal if you are that 82 kilo or 180 pound person. So let, let me tie this up for you guys right now. If you are a 180 pound, healthy, athletic, active male or female, you should be consuming somewhere closer to one gram of protein per pound of total body mass, which equates to approximately 2.2 grams per kilogram. And of that, you should be consuming somewhere between 33 and 45 grams of protein per meal spread over two to six meals per day. Two meals would be at the lower A&D recommendation. Five meals would be closer to what Brad and Alan said. This fits perfectly, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, with what we suggest here at The Dolce Diet. If you're following our online platform at thedolcediet.com, you'll see our three weeks to shredded plan and our living plan, living lean program. That automatically builds you a typical personalized nutrition program of usually four to six meals per day and of protein intake usually ranging anywhere between about 30 and 60 grams per day, depending on total body mass. Well, some even lower than that because we have 105 pound females in there and we have 350 pound strong men that are actually inside our platform at the Dolce diet.com to finally button all this up for you. And I appreciate you being here almost as much as I appreciate you. Bang. Bang, giving this video a thumbs up. So I know you're there and so I know you care. I appreciate that. That's all I ask of you guys is just engage with this video. Drop a comment below for the algorithm. Always give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this, to tie this up and put it away. The average 180 pound healthy active adult should consume approximately one gram of protein per pound of total body weight asterisk relatively lean body weight. That's my little asterisk I'll put on Brad and Allen's study. And of that, it should be anywhere between about 30 and 50 grams of protein per meal, spread approximately three to six meals throughout the day. On average, four meals per day of about 45 grams of protein. That puts you at 180 grams of protein. Bang on. Now you're enhancing muscle protein synthesis. You're ensuring your muscles are getting the optimal amino acids in order to rebuild, repair, to grow, to strengthen. 
And also, you're not eating so much that you spill over into a caloric surplus, causing additional storage of non-functional body mass, a.k.a. pull the panties back up because you look like a tub of slop. We want to have that panty dropping body fat, right? So we can build lean muscle tissue and we can actually lean out as we do that. That's what I'm talking to you guys about here. This is lean gains, all evidence-based, all scientifically backed, but also proven in the world of sports and fitness. This is anecdotal evidence to which I see, I practice, I do with the thousands of clients that we have around the world. I mean, tens of thousands if we talk about our online platform, millions if we talk about the books and the publications that we have out there, plus every other credible coach that I know uses these same basic guidelines. Now, you don't have to eat the additional two grams of protein per body weight or three grams by and large for the, for the vast majority of the population, that is a supplement marketer simply trying to sell you too much supplements that you do not need. You don't need it. Go look at Brad and Alan's study. Let me actually drop it into the live stream right now. So it will be in the chat section for those watching this video. Um, Read the study. It's actually great stuff. The AND, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, they have their baseline 0.8 grams per kilogram. That's a little bit low. Even my grandma, Rhoda, 89 years old, she was eating about one. She was eating actually about one gram per kilogram. So she was eating a little bit more um, than that and very happy to do so. But her teeth weren't so great, you know, so things change a little bit. Um, I appreciate you guys. I see a lot of questions here. I will answer questions on Friday. Can't answer these questions right now. I'm trying to keep this video um, quick and brief. But last time I will ask, Bang, bang. Leave a thumbs up for the for the algorithm. I appreciate that. Leave comments below. Subscribe to this channel if you like this content and you want more of this content. I will be putting out as much as possible. And if you have any questions, any specific topics you want me to cover, I will gladly do down below. Until next time, boom.